Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making a delicious crumb cake. So let's get started. To make this recipe, you'll need all-purpose flour, white and brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, milk, butter, one egg, a little bit of salt, some delicious vanilla, cinnamon, sour cream, and just a touch of powdered sugar for dusting at the end. First off, set that oven to 325, line an eight by eight inch pan with parchment paper, and now we're gonna make that delicious crumble. This crumb topping is like crunchy, sweet, and just so perfect because the cake itself is soft and just melts in your mouth. It's a really nice contrast. You'll want three quarters of a cup of flour, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, 50 grams, Half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, that's 110 grams. Firmly pack it in, okay. When it falls out, it's like a hockey puck. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of salt for contrast, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. You can add more spices to this if you like, but it's totally up to you. Cinnamon adds just like a little bit of flavor and it's so delicious. You can let us know in the comments what you would add to this, if anything. I'm a sucker for cardamom. Break this brown sugar apart since we tamped it down. And now we're gonna whisk this all together. And I have to tell you, like, whenever I have brown sugar in a recipe, I like to use my hands and just break it up because there ends up being little clumps. And I want this to be like a very uniform mixture that we're then gonna crumble. Now we have nice little sandy granules hanging around. We're gonna take half a cup or 113 grams of sugar butter. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Pour your butter in just while mixing with your fork. This will help you get those crumbles that you want. So we're basically making a streusel topping for this cake. And this is a cake that many people enjoy with a cup of coffee or tea in the morning. So it can also be considered a coffee cake. So right now we have this like wet sand consistency. Oh, it's so delicious already. But it doesn't look very crumbly and that's because we have to add an extra three quarters of a cup of flour. Now we're gonna add the flour kind of while I stir. And your goal here is to create some delicious crumbles that vary in size from a giant boulders to little tiny pieces. If it all just kind of forms one big glom like that, that's because your butter is a little bit hot. So you can just come back and break it up later. It's not a big deal. This is one of those cakes that is so snackable. If it's like just hanging out, everyone takes a piece as they walk by and it disappears in a flash so you might have to go into cake hiding mode. This looks nice. You can see I have a variety of crumbles right here that go from big pieces to small. This gets set aside and will scatter it on top right before it goes into the oven. Now for the cake, and this is a delicious like sour cream cake that this is like, oh, it's so tender. You're gonna love it. One and a half cups of flour, 180 grams, into a bowl, quarter teaspoon of salt for contrast, Gonna use half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Scale is done, we're gonna whisk this up. Just distribute all those leavening agents in the salt, set this aside, and you can grab a stand mixer or a big bowl and a hand mixer now. In the bowl of your mixer, you're gonna combine half a cup of butter, 113 grams, room temperature please, and half a cup of sugar right in there. And today, I'm gonna use something I haven't used for many years. If you've watched the channel way back when, yeah, you know what happened. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, we're gonna see if we can make this uh, special paddle work. Basically the last time I used this paddle attachment, everything went <laughs> But this time I know what I'm doing, we use it the right way. You're gonna cream your butter and sugar up for about three minutes on high until it's light and fluffy. That looks light, that looks fluffy. I wanna measure out a third of a cup of sour cream. This stuff is so good. It has a little bit of acidity to it, really holds a lot of moisture in the cake. It just gives you this crumb that's so nice and amazing. I also wanna add one egg right in there. We're gonna mix this in first, scrape the bowl down, make sure it's nice and smooth. Scrape, 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 because we want a consistency that is the same. Right now I have like a wet egg mixture on top with the butter on the bottom, so that's not what we want. Hmm, okay. 
This looks great. Nice and totally homogenous throughout. You can take a look. So now we have some more delicious things to add. That third of a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk. In you go. And two teaspoons of vanilla. This looks kind of crazy. It's not what we normally do because you would normally add in like wet, dry, wet, dry. But we're gonna get all these delicious things together first and then add the flour mixture in. So let's mix it up. Don't worry if it looks a little bit curdled or things have separated. That's fine. And by the way, if you don't have sour cream around, you can sub in a full fat yogurt. This is reminding me of a lot of sour cream cakes that I love. I should make a sour cream playlist. Just to show you really quickly, the mixture is kind of runny and curdled. That's what you want. So that's good. Don't worry if that's what you see. We're gonna run the mixer on low and slowly add the flour mixture in. So a little bit at a time. And then we're gonna finish this off by hand. So it's almost combined right now. I'm definitely seeing some streaks of flour here and there, but I'm really a proponent of just finishing the batter by hand every single time because one of the main problems people have when they bake any cake is over mixing the batter. A lot of recipes don't tell you or they tell you to run the mixer for a long time. What are you doing? So here, take a look. This mixture has flour that's scattered around. We're just gonna fold that in and look on the bottom, there's some runny stuff. We don't want any of that. So just mix it all together. As soon as you see the mixture is homogenous, you're done. Don't keep mixing. This looks great. So we're ready to get everything into the pan. Now we're gonna transfer this really thick batter that we made right into our pan. The more you scrape out, the less you have to clean. And the more cake you'll have. So I'm gonna smooth this all out just because I want a good base for my crumble to go onto. All right, just work it all the way to the edges. It will self-level a bit, but this batter is thick. Now grab that crumble and spread it evenly all over the top. I love the colors on this. It's so beautiful. If you see any giant shards, you can break them up. Spread those crumbles out just so they're evenly distributed. Now we're gonna pop this into the oven, 325 for 40 minutes, 4-0. Longer bake time, but lower temperature will give you just a really nice, tender, delicious crumb. Here you go. Let your cake cool in the pan for about 10 minutes, and then look at that, the beauty of parchment paper. This gets finished off with a sprinkle of powdered sugar. It's optional, but it's so pretty. And now for the cut. I had to show you cutting into this because this cake is amazing. You know a cake is good when the crumb looks like that. It is so moist and lovely. This will be gone in a flash. Ooh. Oh, I'm smiling ear to ear. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. The cake is like clouds. It's like clouds that became a cake. Top with this crunchy crumble is everything you want and more. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this recipe, check out my Easy Cake playlist.